Roberts, Cron 4 News. And thank you, Stanley. I'm Jan Wall here with India Adams. We're going to come up and tell about uh, how India sang for Sid Charisse. She sang for Joan Crawford. Live to tell about it. And she's singing for herself and all of us now. So come on back, and we'll also look at Les Miserables. All of that next. That is winging along or a dance with the touch of romance is the art that appeals to the heart. That's entertainment. And that is entertainment. And now, here for all of my friends is a little bit of Joan Crawford from Torch Song. Before that, it was Sid Charisse and Fred Astaire from The Bandwagon. What do these have in common? Well, I love them. But also, uh, we are talking about India Adams and the voices that you're hearing. The voice you're hearing is India Adams' voice. She was what was known as a ghost singer. That is someone who wasn't allowed to say that she was actually singing for these stars in these classic films but she's here with her own voice which is pretty darn wonderful please welcome india adams hi india thank you so much jan it's a pleasure to be here does that make you feel kind of mad or resentful that you weren't able to tell people hey i sang for one of the greatest films ever made the bandwagon well i minded it at the time but it's no longer a secret <laughs> and even at the time i loved the fact that i was doing it i was starstruck i loved the movies i loved the movie stars and I loved singing for them. Did you get to see uh, Sid Charisse? Oh, yes. I, I worked with Sid and, and Joan. Uh-huh. And yeah. of, of Joan Crawford and Sid Charisse, what was the easiest one to work with? Well, everyone assumes that it's Sid Charisse, but uh, Sid was kind of cold, not particularly friendly, and Joan was very warm, and uh, she used to take me back to her dressing room to watch uh, the rushes from mm -hmm. the day's filming, and... Yeah, she was very, very warm. And and she didn't seem to get upset that you were singing for her. She was well, fine she, with it. Well, she did mind. Oh, uh. I think they all, I think all of the movie stars really wanted to sing for themselves. Mm. But she wrote me an incredible letter saying, you know, she hopes she can do as good an acting job as I did a singing job. I was so sensitive to her every suggestion. Right. And uh, it was, an, when I read the letter, I thought, oh, who's written this? This is a joke. But it was actually from her. From Joan Crawford. Yeah. Yeah, and Blythe said that she helped her a great deal in Mil Mildred Pierce yeah. get her character. Uh, so uh, I think uh, Crawford was often nice to people. Yes, I think so too. And we know she was nice to Clark Gable. You know, she had that long affair with him. Yeah, lucky her. <laughs> oh, I'm telling you, girl. So tell us now about what you're doing at the Raz Room. Well, I'm doing my own show, and we're appearing at 7 o'clock on Saturday night and 4 o'clock on Friday. And then Sunday. Sunday, yes, that's okay. A little, a little, a little, it's a little early for a, a singer. Early yeah. for me. Yeah. Yes, 4 o'clock on Sunday. Right. And I'm the next to last act play the room before they close at that venue, but then they're opening right across the street from you right. at a beautiful new venue. Mm -hmm. Right so. here and on Van Ness, the Raz Room will be reopening uh, at the AMC Theater on the second floor. I'm very excited about right. it. And, and they've already talked about my coming back, so hopefully I'll be working the new venue. Right. Oh, that's <laughs> terrific. So tonight you're playing, and what kind of things can we expect to see in your show? I do a, a really big range from really dramatic dramatic to very romantic and very light and some little comedy. I do a lot of wonderful show tunes, great standards. Mm. I do really, I, I love my show. I do really, <laughs> really good songs. I love them. Isn't that fabulous? Yeah. And what do you recommend this longevity to, India? Because you have really been doing this a long time. Yeah, I have been doing this a yeah. long time. Just loving it and wanting to do it, I think. Having passion yeah. for it. And really, there's no reason why you can't sing forever. Mm. That's great. Well, you look amazing. Thank you and very I'm much. And I'm so excited to see your show. Yes. And to hear the show tunes and stories and uh, just just all kinds of great standards. Yeah, this uh, is kind of autobiographical. I tell quite a lot about my start in show business right. and all the way through. Here's how people could do it. Tonight at 7, uh, tomorrow at 4 o'clock. Perfect uh, holiday matinee. And for more information, just log on to www.therazroom.com. Our wonderful friend. 
friends there who are keeping uh, show business going and alive right. and happier than ever. And these days, we need to get our minds into something happy Absolutely, like this. absolutely. So it's wonderful. India Adams, so good to have you thank here. Thank you. It's a it's, thrill to meet you. Well, thank you. It's a pleasure, really, to be here. Thank you, sweetheart. Now, how about this? This is about music and singing. Le Miserable, since I'm more of a Cole Porter, Rodgers and Hammerstein, Lerner and Lowe, and Gershwin girl, I didn't expect a lot from the movie version of Le Miz. Le Miz. Uh, sure, I've seen the play, uh, like all of us, so many times, uh, and the music is beautiful, but when I heard director Tom Hooper, who did my favorite movie of last year, The King's Speech, uh, was taking this one on and mixing it with live music sung straight through during the filming, I was skeptical. Well, I'm happy to say this movie is exciting, smart, visual, gorgeous. The man who holds it all together is Hugh Jackman. Oh, Hugh Jackman. I Hugh love Jackman. Him. Oh, honey. A performance worth, worthy of an Oscar. Everyone else connected with the movies at the top of their game. My only drawback was Russell Crowe. He downplays his revenge too much, but that was probably an actor's choice. This is a cinematic experience, one to see on the big screen. Please see it. And my highest rating of four hats to Le Miz. Uh, here are a few movies that I do recommend right now. Argo, my favorite movie of the year, Argo. So terrific. Lincoln, The Intouchables, a French film. We were talking about foreign film, a French film. Any Day Now, wonderful film about two gay men who uh, want to adopt a child with Down syndrome. Uh, Alan Cumming, absolutely beautiful acting. And finally, Hope Springs and Bernie, both comedies on DVD. Thank you so much again, India, and we'll see you at the Raz Room. Thank you, Jen. Okay, and back to you, Reggie.